right, good morning, y'all. I think it's March 23rd. Yeah, it's the 23rd of March. It is Saturday. It's a Saturday. It fucking rained. Uh, I thought summer was coming or spring was coming and it started raining and shit out of nowhere. But I think I could I could take it. We or My backyard needs it. I got a little garden in my backyard. And, excuse me, my plants really love it when it rains because they get all fucking wet and big and fucking rained on. So... Yeah, I think LA in general needs the water. We need water. We need to fucking get a little bit of precipitation. Anyways, uh, it's pretty early. It's 8.55 in the morning. I'm up and early, about to head to Zoo Culture now. I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm supposed to go train this girl. I've never met her. She hit me up on Instagram, and uh, I reluctantly agreed to train her. And then she's just rescheduled like three times already. It's got me kind of like a little bit feeling weird about the situation, but see if she shows up uh, today and then we'll, we'll train. And if I don't, uh, if I feel weird after this point on, I just won't respond, I guess. But, um, yeah, always weird. Like having strangers hit you up online and then making you feel uncomfortable, which is kind of fucking weird in itself. But, uh, maybe, you know, hopefully it's, it's, uh, it is what she says it is, and she just wants to learn about nutrition and, and working out and training and shit, but I don't know. People are a trip, so we'll see. I'm probably not going to end up filming my workout today because I'm just going to go and train her, and I think it, it would be rude for me to uh, film us training when we're not friends or nothing. When I film Joe or uh, even Danae or Mary, these are my friends and they, they are more than happy to share working out with you guys and to let me film. And everybody knows that I film my, my vlogs and I make content and so it's no surprise or nobody's like, oh my gosh, why are you doing this? So, uh, but with a stranger or somebody I don't know, I think that's uncomfortable and I don't think it's appropriate to, oh, rice is ready. Uh, it's not appropriate for me to be making her feel uncomfortable or whatever, filming somebody that we're not even friends yet, you know, but maybe after we build a rapport and we have a good time, uh, I can introduce her to the vlog if this all works out. So best of luck to, for me, because I don't like to wake up early and do all this shit just for nothing and just to fuck, fuck around. Got a couple things I got to do today. Not much. I'm just really trying to work on the art thing as much as possible. So I'm going to start doing some larger paintings just to get really feeling good about painting again. I started posting a couple real small ones of some skulls I did. But, you know, you got to get your feet wet, right? You got to just like dip your feet in to make sure that everything is copacetic. And you're like, oh, yeah, I remember how to do this shit. And then you start boxing a little bit. And you're like, man, I'll fuck somebody up. What's up? I wish a motherfucker would, man. So like... Now I'm ready to get some bigger paintings, you know, and do some bigger shit. And then hopefully, you know, get back into like posting a lot more of my tattoo work. Cause I still tattoo again, like all, you know, not all the time, but you know, quite often I just don't post the shit because sadly to say you guys, like a lot of the work I do is not really stuff I want to use to represent my artistic ability and respectfully, you know, and, and that's fine. I don't mind being a fucking commercial artist. But then it just sucks because it hurts my brand because I don't want to promote that kind of stuff. Let's say just like basic writing or, or whatever, flowers or something, you know, so it's fucked. It's kind of weird. So you got to like promote yourself as an artist, promote yourself as whatever you are. So people understand that what services you can provide, but at the same time, trying to brand yourself as a certain type of artist or a certain type of uh, textile creator or whatever, you know. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, let's get to zoo. I thought I was going to do back today, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure this chick's going to want me to uh, train legs with her. Um, and if I'm going to train her this first time, I think I might even just work out with her just to like, again, so I'm not just sitting there staring at her and having to talk to her so much because if I'm working out, it'll be a little bit easier to kill the time, I think. Anyways, wish me luck, you guys, and uh, I'll give you the update here shortly. All right, y'all. Man, I am fried. I fucking left my camera on. The battery died. Fucking dumbass. I don't know. I've done that twice in the last two days. Like, I he just snoring in the background. But yeah, uh, ended up going to zoo culture and training that girl. Um, it was okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but she definitely uh, was still kind of weird. And the whole vibe was weird, you know. And uh, I didn't. I really didn't feel comfortable and like... It's weird because I'm happy to train anybody and like help people and excuse me. And it makes me 
feel good to like help people learn about fitness and nutrition. And I really like talking about it and nerding out about everything. But at no point did I feel like she, that's what she wanted to even talk about. Anytime I'd ask her about her diet or, you know, her fitness routine, she would just say, you know, I, I'm, I eat really healthy and I do this and I do that. But then is asking me for help, but it's like, I don't know. It's just it's a very self-defense mechanism. I think where people go, well, I eat, really good all the time not just her you know and you're like well then why are you out of shape or fat or overweight or whatever and again not her specifically people in general that that make those kind of comments you know that don't understand why they're not making progress or whatever but then uh don't understand that they are the the problem that and they don't want to change it and even today when i try to have her uh, use some machines. She goes, I think these are made for, for tall people. And I, and every machine is adjustable and I'm five foot seven and have no issue training on every machine. So I think that, you know, people in their fitness journey want to make excuses as to why things don't work and as to why, uh, they haven't seen the results. And I, I've experienced that myself where I've gone to gyms or I've done training routines or I've done, uh, nutrition plans with coaches or whatever and I didn't give it enough time or I didn't take it serious enough and I didn't see the results that I wanted oh, Jesus. Um, and I blamed the, the, the system rather than me for the issue like you know this diet doesn't work and why, why would I want to sacrifice and be on this diet it doesn't even do anything and of course fajita sub snoring please and of course diets work and of course training programs work and of course all these things, but there's just like, a, you gotta put in a long time, you know, and in some cases six months, which is fucking 200 days of work before you're gonna see like a dramatic enough result that like you can see it. Dude, crazy, the dog's snoring so fucking loud. She's not even asleep. Anyways, so, uh, Diligence is like a is key to being able to see a result, to see any type of progress even being made. Because if you just like give something a shot for a week or even a month or even three months and then stop doing it, it's it's a wrap and you're not going to see anything. And then it's going to reverse five times quicker than it. Yo, I'm filming a YouTube. Shut up. Jesus Christ. Anyways, my fucking rude ass dog won't stop snoring with her eyes wide open because she just is being passive aggressive because she knows that I'm about to leave and that I'm not going to take her to work because it's raining. And so she's being a brat, typical fucking puppy. Meanwhile, I took her to the gym. She already worked out. She got to see her friends. She's eating lunch. She's gone to the bathroom. I don't know what the fuck she wants from me. She just wants the world given to her. Anyways, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to end up training that that lady again, that woman. Um, she was by no means a girl. And, uh, you know, we'll see, I guess. You know, making money training people is nice, but I don't like to feel uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest. I don't like to feel uh, like I'm talking to a wall. You know what I mean? And, like, it's weird. You know, if you're going to ask me for help... Uh, it's weird when people don't actually want to use the help that they're asking for and they're they're realizing, hey man, I don't I don't got it going on and you do, but then they won't even listen to what you have to say. Anyways, I ended up uh, working out and doing some back by myself. It was kind of a whack ass workout because I kinda of wanted to get to work. We're having an issue at the shop with a rat, and I'm trying to get this rat out of the shop. When it rains, rats try to find uh, warm places to go sleep and shit and we have a rat in our shop and uh he's like living in the wall or something he's not like in the shop per se but i can i can hear him running around in the wall and shit and it's so fucking annoying so try to f <laughs> fix all these problems my fountain doesn't work at my house so i get to fix my fountain moving some plants around you know setting up the stream doing all this kind of managerial stuff it's it's good because it's a uh, the changing of the guard the year is like 
you know, whatever, switching in season. So it's nice to be able to get a bunch of work done right this second. Summer's about to be here or spring is about to be here. And then summer and we're going to be able to just like fucking go crazy and be partying in longer days. And I mean, I guess I won't be partying per se, but, you know, going, uh, having fun and doing a lot of different shit. I'm going to try to go hiking more. And again, I think I've already mentioned this, but maybe do some vlogging with like my cell phone out on the hiking trail. So I'm able to do some outdoor kind of vlogging shit. It would be fun. And because I don't really go out and about too much anymore, you guys, which I'm sorry to say, I know this is not the most entertaining kind of content to just sit here and be talking in my kitchen, but uh, this is my life now. And so hopefully we can create together a fun thing that <laughs> is uh, enjoyable for me to create and enjoyable for you guys to consume. So I've been having a lot of fun doing my streams at night, playing with my boys Twisty and uh, Revoke. They are really fucking dope guys. They're funny guys, fun to chat with, and I think they make for really good content. Just talking with them and the, their funny paradigms on life because uh, we're all three different types of human beings. And that's why uh, it's a beautiful fucking group to hang out with dudes that aren't necessarily exactly like each other, you know? So yeah, it's been real fun ex to experience the streaming shit and. I'm going to be honest, it's been really humbling to make these vlogs and only have under 100 and sometimes 20 or 30 or 50 people even watch the vlogs. Uh, you know, and it takes me a lot of time. It takes me time to record, takes me time to edit and uh, upload the things. And I've spent a lot of money on a camera equipment and fucking tripods and microphones and everything in between. And uh, it, like I said, it's very humbling to make content knowing that... Um, it's not being insanely widely received, but you know what? When I reflect back on the content that I was creating in January and what I was making, the videos and what they were looking like in January, which was 70 days ago, uh, it's, it was bullshit and it was horseshit and it looked like garbage. And now I'm a lot more proud of what these con the content looks like. The quality of the videos looks better. Understanding how to frame shots and even make this look cool and record the audio so it doesn't sound fucking so insane. We've gone through so many hurdles already in 70 days. So I think doing this training and understanding that sometimes you're not going to get the reception that you would like from your audience but just doing what you want to do anyways. Like, and I want to make content. I like to make content. I like to record videos. I like to do the streaming. I like to go live. I like to talk to people. I like to fucking record myself making art and paintings and shit and working out. So all of it's super fun for me. That's why I'm doing it, because I enjoy it. But uh, sometimes you just have to keep your head down and do what you want to do, knowing that things can work out uh, for your favor if you just do what you want to do rather than like, chasing a buck or doing something for ulterior motives so anyways let's stay positive guys let's keep our heads up let's have fun and tomorrow i think we got um, probably leg day because chest back legs arms shoulders that's my split so assuming i'm gonna stick to my normal split i'm probably do quads tomorrow and uh fucking complain the whole time all right boys i really appreciate you guys like comment subscribe show all the love you can it really means a lot to me i respond to every comment i talk to you guys every day i'll see you tomorrow peace